there's only one thing that I think everyone wants to see from the Scorpion Covert 2, and we'll talk about that and more in today's video. So Scorpion has been dropping some heat lately in the helmet department, and they just released the third iteration of the wildly popular Covert helmet, which is being dubbed the Covert 2. I, much like many other cruiser riders, have fallen in love uh, with the looks of the covert line it's distinct and it's unique and when you see one you immediately know that it's a scorpion covert helmet and aside from the awesome looking design i think people genuinely enjoy going from a half helmet to a three-quarter helmet to a full face helmet configuration depending on the weather or the riding conditions or quite frankly the mood that you're in and now scorpion has taken some strides to improve upon the original design of the covert while still keeping that aggressive look that people have really come to love about the covert and there's a good chunk of changes that made its way through the Covert 2. So let's start with some of the improvements. The newly released Covert 2 now boasts enhanced comfort, safety, and communication capabilities. Those are the notable upgrades from the previous iteration. So for comfort, I can definitely say that this is a welcome improvement because for me, the Covert and the Covert X caused a few pressure points on my head. But with the Covert 2, that's completely gone. It still comes with their quick wick comfort liner, which I think is one of the best in the game considering the price point of the helmet. I absolutely love the soft feel of the Scorpion liners, and if you've owned a Scorpion helmet with their Quick Wick liner, you know what I'm talking about. The other big change is that the helmet now supports communication devices, so it comes with very large cutouts near the ears for uh, any speakers that you might want to run inside the helmet. That's a welcome change from the original Covert, which didn't have those cutouts. So if you want to run a Cardo or any communication device, uh, this helmet's got you covered. Now there are some other improvements and changes to this helmet most notably the removable mask. One is just the quality of construction on the mask is seriously just beefed up. The original covert was a rubbery piece of material and it was really designed to more or less protect you from the road debris or bugs. And the face mask on the covert X was better than the covert but still felt a little flimsy and plasticky to me. The face mask on the covert 2 looks bulkier, beefier, and potentially more protective than the previous two, although it's not really quite meant to protect the front of your face in the event of a crash. But I would venture to say it probably will provide a little bit of protection, especially if you're comparing it to the first two iterations. Uh, it also features a ventilation option on the face mask. I couldn't really tell the difference between the open and closed positions because these convertible helmets in general, they, you know, they leak a ton of air. I didn't expect a whole lot in that department, which is fine. If I actually had to put a number to it, I'd probably say it helps about 10%, which is marginal, but still, I like the thought process behind the design. Another big change with the Covert 2 is that it's no longer a three-way, that's what she said, meaning a three-way convertible helmet. The Covert and the Covert X was modular in that you could go from a half helmet to a three-quarter helmet to a full face helmet configuration. With the Covert 2, now you only go from three quarters or the full face configuration. I actually think that's a good move from Scorpion uh, for a few different reasons. I honestly didn't see a whole lot of people using it as a half helmet or even a three quarter helmet, if I'm being honest. So Scorpion decided to remove that half helmet option in favor of a more structurally sound design. So better protection for your head all around by removing that option. Speaking of some of the features from the Covert 1 and the X that make its way back to the Covert 2, mouthful, the drop down visor, which is anti-fog. Uh, I really do just like the simplicity of that drop down visor. For some reason, I just like being able to drop down the visor. Really cool. For those of you guys who have half helmets with that drop down visor, know what I'm talking about, or modular helmets with the drop down visor. I just like the simplicity of it. Great field of view as well. Um, and the vents on the top of the helmet, which make its way back to the Covert 2. In terms of safety rating, it is DOT approved and you get all this for around $200. And it comes with a few different color options like the matte black, gloss black, which I have, uh, the cement gray, and the white. Most likely, if you wait a few months, they'll probably come out with a few other designs. Uh, Scorpion has been known to do that uh, throughout their covert line. Now, if you have tried these helmets, you know the deal. This essentially is a three-quarter helmet with an optional face mask. Uh, so with that said, it's never going to give you the protection or the soundproofing that you might get with a traditional full face helmet. Even though it may look like a full face helmet, it's it's really not. And people will usually ask if these helmets are you know quiet. And I have to be honest, it's quiet for this style of helmet. But again, if your frame of reference is a full face helmet, it'll never be quite as quiet as those. And it has a lot of open areas underneath the, uh, the face mask. So you're going to get a ton of airflow into the helmet which is going to cause some noise. I mean, that is inherent with the design of this helmet. But on the flip side of that, in the warmer months, 
it's great to have that ventilation. Um, I actually rode with the Covert X in like 100 degree weather and it really did help me keep on the cooler side of things. So keep that in mind. I do have to give credit to Scorpion here. I, I think they were the first to introduce uh, this type of modular slash uh, convertible design on a helmet. And it's obviously done really well for them to the point now where they have three different versions. And there's other companies now that are kind of mimicking that design. You have the Bell Bruiser, HAC also has their own version out. I think Scorpion really did hit a note with the Harley riders and other cruiser riders who are more accustomed to sort of like the freedom of the half helmet would really enjoy this design as it still provides a ton of airflow. It's comfortable. It offers just a little bit more protection against the elements, road debris and, and insects that fly around. But what I think people really want out of this helmet is maybe just another option as a full face design, right? Like a full face helmet uh, that looks exactly like the Covert or the Covert 2 or the Covert X. Uh, that's what I see the most in terms of comments. Like whenever I see an Instagram post from Scorpion, I always see a comment, hey, is this a full face helmet or is this available in a full face helmet configuration? Now, I know that they just came out with the Covert FX last year, which is kind of their answer to that but it still quite doesn't look the same as the Covert line, uh, the, meaning the Covert 1, the Covert 2, and the Covert X. A lot of people really do want the protection of a full face helmet. That's also something that I would personally be interested in as someone who always wears full face helmets. I would want as much head protection as I can get in the event of a crash, but I get that's not the intention of this design. So in that regard, I don't really knock any points for something that it's not supposed to be, if that makes sense. So until Scorpion does come out with a full face design of this particular helmet, you know, we'll just have to make do with the Covert 1, the X, and now the 2. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the first look at the new Covert 2. I'll drop a link in the description to where you can buy it on Amazon. You can always also purchase it through Scorpion and their dealer network. But until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.